first case is the City of Alaska case, case number VA215-01, Central Avenue, Church of Christ. Staff, would you please present? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a request by Central Avenue Church of Christ to rezone 5.6 acres from residential professional to downtown commercial. Property is located at 304 East Central Avenue. This is in the northeastern part of the core of downtown. It is directly east of the Valdosta City Hall. As you see on the map on the screen and in your packets, it comprises the bulk of two blocks. Um, it is two clusters of parcels that were recently combined together. So you have a north parcel and a south parcel. Both are zoned currently RP. On the map you see the downtown commercial zoning already existing on all of the properties to the west across Lee Street and also to the south across the Central Avenue. Um, the property has been zoned this way for many, many years. Um, the existing church, um, they are proposing to go through a series of interior renovations and also some minor additions on the exterior, uh, which triggers some development compliance under RP zoning, which is fine. However, there are certain development standards in RP that they would not meet. Um, RP is typically found more in the suburban areas of the city, not so much in the core downtown. <coughs> Um, they are proposing the rezoning the CD um, to obtain slightly different development standards, um, those that are more in keeping with the downtown environment, um, many of which that they already meet. Um, also in your packet, you see the downtown activity center. This is the character area of the future development map of the comprehensive plan um, that sort of broadly generalizes what is part of the downtown area of Valdosta. And then in the area, we see the current development pattern most of the southern parcel is already built out of church buildings and church uses. There is additional parking on the north parcel, but that is essentially all that is there. Um, all of their proposed renovations and expansions are to occur on the south parcel. Um, however, long term, they may be looking at other uses on the north parcel, but that is still many, many years out. Since it is in downtown, it is uh, also in the local historic district, which means anything to be done on the outside of the buildings or the site itself uh, must require a certificate of appropriateness approval from the Historic Preservation Commission, um, and they anticipate doing that next month. Um, they are also ordered on the what's called the Central Valdosta Development Authority. The eastern border of that district as established back in the 1970s is Lee Street. Any properties facing Lee Street are automatically in the CDDA, and because their parcels are now combined together into two large parcels that face Lee Street, all of the church property is now within the CDDA. Um, again, another rationale for downtown commercial zone. Um, with that, Planning Commission, had, or excuse me, staff had recommended approval with some conditions. If you look at the aerial, and I guess probably more importantly the zoning map, um, to the north of that northern parcel, you see some residential zoning, both R6 and RM. If rezoned to CD, this would be the only place where CD zoning borders residential zoning. Uh, throughout the rest of downtown, CD is in the core. It is surrounded by either other commercial zoning districts or in some cases, even a few industrial zones. Um, so this would be a first. One of the interesting details about CD is there are no buffer yard requirements between CD and other zones. Throughout the rest of downtown, it is not an issue because the zones around CD are more intensive. But in this case, CD would be next to a less intensive <coughs> residential zoning district. Um, so staff is a little concerned about buffer yards in the future. Um, so using sort of the template other commercial zoning districts, if those were to locate next to this residential zoning, um, the minimum would be a 20-foot buffer yard um, or a 10-foot buffer yard with a 6-foot high fence. And so with that in mind, staff is recommending that one condition is the conditional zoning for the north parcel only to carry with it a buffer requirement that would be the same as other commercial districts. And the wording is this. For the northern parcel only, any redevelopment that includes new parking or buildings within 50 feet of the current northern property line shall require a minimum 10-foot wide landscape buffer yard and minimum 6-foot high solid opaque fence along this northern boundary where the property line abuts land zone for single family residential. So that would be along the portion where the CD would border the R6. Um, so a buffer yard as if it were a different commercial zoning that's there. And 
the staff's view, that makes the CD zoning even that much more compatible. Um, overall, it is already built like a downtown set of properties, and therefore rezoning to batch makes good sense. So we found it consistent with our standards for XLF with zoning power and the comprehensive plan, and we're recommending approval with that one condition. Okay. Thank you, staff. Commissioners, any questions for staff at this time? Mr. Wilson? We've discussed it with the applicant's representative even as of this morning, and we're okay with the way it's working. Mr. Bolton? Just one question. I didn't know that. It looks to me like your condition is already violated by current asphalt and stairs. Or, right, and that's why it's worded as new parking. So if they were to expand that existing parking lot, it would trigger. If they were to put a building within 50 feet, it would trigger. If they do something beyond 50 feet away, then it would not trigger. However, other development standards would still kick in. It's not the Buckley Yard. Well, that question was actually discussed this morning. Okay. Uh, the asphalt yes, uh, Matt, what about lighting? I know uh, we have a lot of problems around the city with lighting. Is that covered anywhere else in the city code it, ordinance? It is. Any new parking lots that have 10 spaces or more are required to have lighting. Um, so in this, you have existing parking lot, which is grandfathered in under old rules. So any changes, i.e. adding 10 more parking spaces, it will trigger that. I'm, I'm worried more about lighting uh, leading over into the residential area. Well, part of the requirements is if you do lighting, um, you have to submit a full lighting plan and through engineering drawings that get reviewed by engineering department. Um, and the lighting basically tapers down to almost nil or supposed to by the property line. And in this case, the buffer yard along there will help also. Yes. <coughs> Any other questions for staff and commissioners? At this time, we will call anyone in audience that's in favor of this request to come forward at this time. Please remember to state your name, your address, for the record. I'm <coughs> D.R. Holton, 3543 Grand Prairie Drive, Alaska. I represent the group of elders from the Central Avenue Congregation that are here with me tonight. And, uh, we have been at this location for about 120 years, and we're getting ready to do approximately a million dollars worth of renovation to the buildings. We bought the uh, Lee Street Baptist Church property a few years ago. We had a number of houses we bought on the north side and also on the uh, east side, and all these were under a different zone. And so we, we just really had problems with zoning simply because of the way we've grown. And so we feel like that we really want to stay downtown. In fact, in the 90s, in the 90s we did a research within our congregation and we determined to stay downtown. And so our plan is to keep the congregation downtown to cooperate with the city of Valdosta on its planning for downtown and be a good neighbor to the city hall and to those that are in the downtown community. So we would request that you any questions for presenters, Matt? Chris Wills? I'm going to ask you the same question I asked him. On the one uh, condition that was read while ago, that he read, does he have a problem with that? We do not have a problem with that. <coughs> that, that is parking that probably will remain parking from now on as far as we're concerned. We have a building on it, and we removed the building. There's another building, and we removed the building some time ago. And most of the work we're doing is over on the other property. Mm -hmm. and probably in the other okay. Thank you. Any other questions for presenters? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Anybody else wishing to speak in favor? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, is there anybody here that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward. None being seen. Commissioners, do you need any more discussion on this item? If not, I'll set for a motion. Maybe we recommend approval with the uh, condition to stay in the application. Mr. Sutton. Do you have a 
motion by Commissioner Folsom and a second by Commissioner Wiles. At this time, show of hands, all in favor of the motion. Motion passes, 10-0. Next item on the agenda tonight is Lowndes County cases. The first item 